Welcome back to the coverage of the YCS Lille. And I am joined by another master duelist. And this time it is Anthony Lopez, who is a world's participant, YCS runner-up and French national champion. Man who's done it all. How are you doing today? I'm doing very fine. Thanks for having me. Ah, no worries. We're going to play a quick round of Time Resort and 2010. And uh, yeah, we're already shuffled up, so I think let's uh, roll some dice. The most uh, important that was, that part. was really bad. Oh. All right, uh, you can decide if you want to go I'll first. I'll go first. Oh, really? Right. Good luck. Let's have a good one. Good luck. Okay. Oh, all right. All Anthony. Right. Nothing happened. Good luck. How was the World Championships? <laughs> it was an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. It was... Uh, uh, please play quicker, please. Uh. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, of course. Pass. Uh, uh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, continue with your... Uh, so, now I have time to talk. Um, it was an amazing experience. The people there were really uh, amazing. Amazing people. I have nothing negative to say. Konami treated us really well there. Everything was perfect. It was basically vacation. Mm -hmm. But with the stress going with it for playing for the World Championship, of course. Yeah. And uh, how was that uh, ninth place in Swiss treating you? <laughs> oh, it's an amazing experience, really. <laughs> I really like it. I feel like a bubble man, the hero. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I was, I was uh, watching at home. I was, of course, rooting for you. Because uh, we have uh, played before. We have a bit of a history. And uh, I want to do a quick uh, trip down memory. Oh, goodness, no. OK. Yes. All right, all right. Yeah, that hurts. Oh, no, Royko. Yeah. The best card in Time yeah. Wizard 2010. That is true. So, uh, quick trip down memory, memory lane. Uh, Anthony and I met in uh, Liege. Liege, I think. yes. Uh, Liege traveled through there uh, to get to Lille. And uh, I was playing Zodiacs. And uh, what deck were you playing again? I was playing Chainburn. Yeah, and you crushed me. So, uh, uh, effect half. Yes. Uh, and attack. So, Anthony, yes. you played Chainburn at a regional in 2017. What changed until now that you're one of the best duelists in the world, competing at the World Championships, winning a national championship, one of the biggest ones so far? Uh, well, not a lot, basically, because Chainburn was the best deck at that moment, especially in Liege, against you. And fair enough, the, funnily enough, this deck opened me so many doors because I played it. So I think it was the best choice I could have done for that event. All right, so uh, no judgment, Mayor. Uh, your turn, by the way. No, no judgment anymore from my side for your uh, interesting chain burn pick there. I mean, I won, so it's fine, no? <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> you topped that one, right? Uh, yes, I did, actually. I played against a very well-known German team, and I beat three of them. Yeah, we all lost. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a good day for us. But uh, yeah, what was your favorite uh, deck competing in, in tournaments so far? Uh, Sky Striker. I really learned yeah. a lot playing the deck, and the deck was super fun. Hmm? Uh, I attacked once with Caius, and he dealt 100 damage. Yeah, uh, I took 2,400 damage. And he took 100. He took 100. Yes, 100. So I think I learned all of my fundamentals playing Striker because it's yeah. a control deck where you have a lot of decisions to make. And sometimes you go into combos like the Borel Sword, OTK, yes. stuff like that. It's, it's funny because I, uh, I think I rarely did it, only if I had to. So at that point, I really, I really was digging the control aspect of the deck. Yeah. It is, uh, it is one of the greatest. I mean, Basti is going to agree with you heavily. Me too. Sadly enough, I was so biased playing the deck, and I really love playing it, that uh, for the European Championship, where uh, Salomon Grid won, where Gabriel Susi won, actually, Salomon Grid was the best deck, but I was too blind to see it. Was that where Sky Striker already was like almost everything at one? So was that uh, already the case? The, there can be only one control? It was the there can be only one control with Mystic Mind. Where very, oh. very strong. All right. Okay. Spirit Reaper, another great card in Time Wizard 2010. Uh, better face attack. Would you like to activate the effect? I would. I, I think I. I think I will. Oh, then I will chain Gort. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So uh, yeah, summon it. Go ahead. 
we don't have tokens. Yeah. So we don't have it? tokens. Uh, do I have a token in here? I hope. Or do, do we do the classic way <laughs> of using a face down extra tech card? <laughs> Honestly, I think we're going with this. Yes, this it's one. perfect. Uh, man is 300 for me. 300. All right, and now and you discard then I lose a, card. a card. Yes. I mean, you just gained one. So this one. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, yes. Please. Oh, wow, unfortunate. Okay. Uh, so we attack over this. Yes. And in main phase, do I will activate the effect of Blackwing Gale, the Whirlwind, to half the attack and defense points of guards the Misery of Darkness. Oh, also defense. Oh yeah, absolutely also defense. This card is really good. It is a phenomenal card. Uh, now let me just quickly think if I want to <laughs> do anything with it. <laughs> I can Bryonic bounce this back to hand. I mean, it's I a very good play. I would do it. I, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if that's the correct choice here. Uh, to be honest. Oh, you have honest. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Uh, pass. Oh, interesting. Very good card I drew. In so, happy, so happy for you, Anthony. Thank I'm you. So happy for you. How does this work? It just summons itself back. I'll summon it. And I will... Still in standby phase. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see my extra deck. Should have prepared for this, Anthony. <laughs> yes, I, I should have learned the format. <laughs> I am slacking. <laughs> I mean, you've had enough uh, to do with uh, preparing for the World Championships and preparing for this event as well. The format's basically the same, so it's fine. Yeah, that's true. There. So, what's your prediction? There's going to be plenty of you. Well, is there any, any other decks uh, apart from uh, Snake Eyes that are going to be seen a lot in Top Cut? That's... Uh I think there will be uh, a lot of you builds that top because a lot of people will play it. I'll oh. take it, it's fine. Yeah, I'm sure. Thank uh, you. I'll think about that for a second. Oh, of course. It's still in standby phase, by the way. I know. I figured. Uh, oh, this is a tough one. Oh, you play tough too? <laughs> uh, no, that's... Oh. 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 Fine. Effect. Mm -hmm. Great. The bomb for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I will enter my main phase. Yeah. I forgot what it was. I will do effect target. Mm -hmm. Spirit Reaper will be destroyed in resolve. Yes. It's almost like you planned all of this out. It's funny, right? Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what does this say? The duel is getting so intense that I'm completely forgetting to do interview stuff here. Uh, we were talking about the meta. Yeah. My call was Ubil will be the most uh, represented. The biggest conversion rate for the deck, I would think it's Chimera, because that will yeah. clean all of the decks that yeah. are uh, not well mastered by the duelists. Uh, Snake Eye also, probably, because a lot of people still like Snake Eye. Snake Eye is a very uh, good pick for... Uh, it's a fan favorite. It's a, f it's a fan favorite. Everyone likes Snake Eye. Everyone likes Snake Eye. I really like to see a uh, normal Ash. I interrupt it and then comes a witch. Ah, it's very fun. <laughs> Phenomenal place. European Championship, by the way, it was a very nice event. By the way, I have, uh, like, the craziest pick for this event. Do you want to know? You? Yeah, I have, I have the craziest one. I, I take the gale. Yes. I appreciate it. Tell me. Ice Barrier Runic. It's gonna win everything. Who, who is playing it? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping... There can only be one person playing no, it and winning he's, it. He's not playing it. Then we have no hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put an attack. Okay, mister. You don't have Mirror Force attack? I take 1,350. 1,350 damage. That's fine. Yeah. I, th I, I think I'm not going to need the Mystical Space Typhoon. Oh, okay, set two. <laughs> <laughs> this? Yeah. Kay. I will draw it next turn. I, uh, <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did my normal summon. 
Or no, did I? you didn't. I didn't? Oh. Let's use it, I guess. Oh. Stop frog. Does this play Ronin Toadian? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Card wasn't out by then. I mean, I it would be fair, no? With Shining Forces, I think, was the set. Came out very shortly after this. Uh, I didn't lose a lot, right? Uh, no. I think you lost uh, 100 and 300. Good turn. Oh, yeah. I forgot that that was a thing. <coughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> See, you're not even playing this for me. You're already better than I am. It's incredible. Okay. So I've played Palio before. Fair enough. Uh, Trooper. Oh, that's a really good card. Yeah. The last card I played that did that maybe was a Tillman card. Maybe not the best card right now. Uh, attack. 900 uh. damage for him. Oh, one set. One set. And it's your turn. That is a lot. So now that you uh, didn't win the last French YCS and uh, you came very close to almost topping the World Championships, what's what's in there for this season? What are, what are your plans? Do Ooh. you have do you have high goals or are you like I I got very far in the last season? Let me calm down a little bit. Uh, calming down is not in my mind right now. Perfect. Uh, the big big goals obviously is going back to Worlds and winning it this time. At least topping it because bubbling is ending on a bad note. And of course, I'm coming for your nationals this year. Oh, really? Yes. You're coming from the Dutch one. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, that I will finally try to get my first top at the German nationals. And of course, I'll try to win it. So then I would have uh, conquered uh, <laughs> the three <laughs> European nationals. <laughs> <laughs> That's Luxembourg That's is taking back. You won Luxembourg already? The, there is none. Konami, please. We need a Luxembourgish regional, uh, national. And regionals also. That would be nice. Players would like it. Probably. Sounds like it. So... That was the obvious... Uh, also, Luxembourg is a language, so we need judges for it. So we can, need... Can you say something in Luxembourgish? Uh, yeah, natürlich. I hope that was something politically correct. Oh, that correct. was gut uh, nicht politisch korrekt. Okay. <laughs> that was that ganz schlimm, was das geht. <laughs> oh. Don't worry about it. I won't. I will do some illegal things and try to banish this. I, I do think that's actually legal and uh, I don't appreciate it. I will have to ah. uh, bottomless trample this. Unfortunate. So and then I will pass. Both lost two cars. Well, would you look at that? If I draw my third Caius, I will be a very good player. <laughs> the thing is, I, I don't know what to do to get out of this one. Because I didn't get my engine rolling. Uh, there is always an out. Going to game two. <laughs> I will activate uh, oh. Norrison and I get a knight. Yes. Unfortunately, this is a best of one. So, <laughs> therefore, going to game two, it's not going to be the out. You can also queue another game, <laughs> just like a master duel. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will pass because I know you have guards in hand. Oh, you're sure? I'm unfortunately very sure about that. I shouldn't have bounced it. Or maybe I, it was the right play. Yeah, it takes away some of the excitement if you bounce back the Gorse to hand, right? Yes. I could have it, but now it's sure that I have it. Uh, this is quite an interesting draw. Will I do something with it? Well, I need to get rid of the Armageddon Knight. Oh, all right. Now that's like a whole whole nother thing you have in your deck here that we haven't seen before. No, it's a hero, just like him. Oh, yeah, right. But he's evil, he's good. <laughs> uh, 100 uh, for him. Yeah, I take yes. 100. You take 100. Right and to then the face. Pass. Draw. Funnily enough, this is the best part of my deck. So now you are quite uh, cooked. <laughs> I have to out it. So I will summon Dark Rafa. Ooh. And I will send a Vayu. You have how many cards in hand? I have four. Okay. And you have one. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking if I can go for some crazy stuff here. The game is closing down.
the most important plays are happening now. Exactly. Let's see, do we have something cooler than Ultra Rare? No. Okay. <laughs> so the question is... Okay. Okay, guys. This is a desperation play now. To wait, Plague. Yes. Summon out the Plague Spreader Zombie, which is beautiful from Crossroads of Chaos. Summon out the Goyo Guardian. Ooh. I will... You don't have two, right? I have two. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a lesson. Don't forget to check the grave of your opponent before <laughs> doing a play to have all of the information that, you, that there is to have. That is a good lesson for, uh, for you guys today. I mean, if you want to take back, it's not a 3 event or 2 or 1. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh man. I'm washed. <laughs> That's piercing, it. right? No, it's not. It's negated. Oh. Otherwise, it wouldn't be half bad. Attack, and I will take it. Great. Uh, so, 1300 damage for him. <laughs> it's your turn. I mean, your board is uh, really good. Huh? Yeah. It would be a shame to top that dark hole now. I don't think it was allowed in this format. Oh, I don't know what was allowed. But what I drew is not allowed. Is it another enemy controller? Because that would, <laughs> would be a big problem for me. <laughs> How much life points do you have left? <laughs> I have no idea. How much life points do I have? 4 150. 4 150. That See? is interesting because the draw that I got is going to make the game Really easy now. Uh, effect? Yeah. So, what does this do? So, a question uh, I should have asked myself before going to Goyo Guardian with my last card in hand. It's always a good question. I mean, he summoned 20 swap frogs. Like, why was I thinking that he doesn't have a second tree born frog in the graveyard? Okay. Can't be right all the time, right? How do I do this? I mean, at least I have the strongest monster on the field in terms of attack and defense. My opponent only has a Treeborn Frog. My play is not working out because I cannot count up to seven. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> what do we have in hand? You have 20 cards. Uh... No, just normal summon Snake Eye Ash, bro. That, that would be very easy. This one I know. Here in this format, I need to think. Uh, that is probably the play. But he has 2-3, that, that's big. If you have a Kaios, I'm crying. No, uh, yeah, that, I think that, that would be pretty been easy. Yeah. <laughs> Way easier. That would be a pretty easy decision. Why can't Dark Refa be a hero? He looks like a Destiny hero. I mean, I guess I only do this. Normal? Yeah. Oh no, are you doing this? Are yes. you doing it to me? Oh no, he's doing I am, it to I me. am learning. Uh, this is not once per turn, right? No. Smash someone frog monster from your deck. That's why frogs for uh, quite some time had a first turn win condition together with Mass Driver. Which is the reason why the card was forbidden. You just have to tribute a monster and deal 500 damage. Continuous spell card. And you would basically, when uh, Ronin Toten was introduced into the game, do this the entire time. Uh, send a Ronin Toten with the Swap Frog, tribute, uh, banish all of the frogs to summon back Ronin Toten, and tribute them for Mass Driver for 500 damage apiece. And you had 20 frogs in your graveyard, which was. Uh, That's a funny combo. Yeah, it was hilarious. This is also hilarious. I mean, I'm stalling. In game, of course. <laughs> My turn? <laughs> yes. Okay. So. So you know you turp deck, of course? You fell right into my trap. I don't Did believe you. know you. that? Because now you have removed every frog from your deck. Yes. I'm going to be able oh. to banish one of your frogs. I forgot to foolish two substitutes, but it's fine. So now I still have frogs in the deck. Attack? They are toads, not frogs, right? Uh, yes, but I can uh, foolish them with soft frog, I think? Yes. Yeah, not true. But I could have... You uh, can't search them. That was... No. That but was I can take one back from the graveyard. Really? Yes. Because I did that in Palio, so I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, my, my plays today are surely working out. Okay. Very good. Then I'm going to attack directly with 2,300. Okay, so now... I think my play works if I do this. Okay, let me count. Let's count up to seven. One. So one, two, two three, three five, five, seven. That's not how that works. That is how that works. Okay, yeah. Uh, pass turn. Okay, let's see if I was correct. So I'll do this. So now we're at two. Now you can tribute summon gourds. Normal oh, no. effect. Oh no, what do you want to do with level seven? What do you want to do with level seven? And now we will do no. the no, no, crazy. No 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 no. no, 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 Anthony, no, no, don't do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't do it. Do you have any other question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Please this get it over with. Vanished. And of course, my boss monster. It should be a plant monster, but it's a dragon. Ah! Fact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now it is not over, because I have. Ah, oh, goodness gracious, okay. <laughs> uh, I think it's this and... No, wait, that doesn't work. Uh, no. It's Battle Fader, so I didn't do... Yep. I don't think you did damage, no. No, no, I didn't do damage. I think we, just, we just got a question off camera, so that's why uh, you guys didn't hear it, but that's who Anthony answered to. <laughs> It's the voices. <laughs> the voices are getting louder every single day. Uh. Two five. All right. I take, I take 2,500 yes. damage. And now I will draw my last card. And everyone who has ever played this Blackwing version... Draw your version, last pathetic card, Leo. We know that this deck is very good at top decking. I think that is the worst card I could have drawn. In this oh, situation. it is actually a pathetic card. <laughs> yes. Pass. That is, in fact... You see this card? I, I Are you b basharing me at the Euros 2016 or 18? Six, eight, 18? 16? It happens. <laughs> yes, you are! <laughs> uh, I will negate this. Oh, that's... that's a lot. I will then... You know that I'm at a thousand life points. Yes. Yeah, okay. But the frog needs to finish you. <laughs> <laughs> Very well played, Anthony. Oh, that was a that was a great game. So, Anthony, uh, I must uh, thank you for taking your time and answering my questions and having this uh, duel with me. I will do an outro on this camera up there, guys. So, uh, please bear with me. I hope this works now. Uh, thank you so much uh, for playing with me. I hope you guys uh, like our duels with our champions, our best duelists that we can just find and uh, listen to what they have to say about the game and about their lives as players. And we will be right back with the live coverage of YCS Lille. <laughs>